We're broadcasting live from Hard Slock Stadium in Miami, home of the Kraken. It's a city known for its palm trees, lovely pastel colors, and where adult diapers outsell infant diapers 10 to 1. I love adult diapers. They make going to the movies so much more fun. Why do you think they call it Miami? Old people move and retire here so they can start practicing for hell. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The New York Threats take on the Diamond Krakens. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones, Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My nutsack was shrinking, and I sprouted this mini-me on my shoulder. Bricks Jr., freak me out. You're a pussy. force meets the explodable object. Someone better buy this guy dinner tonight because he just saved a touchdown with that tackle. Receiver couldn't get there. And yeah, neither could his mother. Second down and ten. And that's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth thrown out of the roof of my mouth? What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Tell Them Something You Need? Watch yourself. That's unique. And another interception. This quarterback is going to... Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. Toe -to -toe. But my watch is a bit slow. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. First and ten. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Whoa, Mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. Second down and seven. 
He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this act, man. And that'll bring up third down and seven. He refuses to go down. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he loses the ball along with his life. When did we become so numb to all this? I uh, honestly can't remember. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. Now, I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play. Second down and ten. Broke. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. It's all about who can control the line of scrimmage on these short yardage fourth down plays. Usually it's the guy with the biggest butt. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue! Is that right, Grim? That penalty makes no sense! Hey, something ain't kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. You do it, And it's first and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And the quarterback throws it defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? Second down and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know how much throw intercept. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Ah, oh, that is such bullshit. 
I got money on this game. These guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. If I talk, I mean stomp them into the ground. And it's first and goal. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. This guy's a brick shit house. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And that's why he's on defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. And there's another pick. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math. Oh, my God. From prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. And it's first and ten. And he picks up two yards on the catch. And that'll be second and eight to go. <laughs> Third down and the punter is warming up. a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life. And it's first and ten. Touchdown on that deflection. Second down and ten. He is rolling thunder and pouring pain. It's a zap attack. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's at the ten. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score! Yo, man, nobody can touch you when I'm home. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. 
And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. They've used a strawberry field's dirty trick. <laughs> Those guys don't know which way forward is now. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback unleashes a sonic button. And he's a first down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. No, he didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. Seriously, man, you think you'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. First and four. Second down in a very lot. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Third down and, well, good luck. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a big... And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down! And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my offseason. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. He's not just burning down the house, he's taking it to the house. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. The 20, the 10, and touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that, look, it's cool. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. 
The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Second down and ten. He's not going down. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And it's first and ten. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. Almost intercepted. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're good. Oh man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Grim, can I kill him? Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of down. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh. Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Bitch and Nick's girlfriend signaled when they were quarterback passes for a touchdown. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Monkey trying to fuck a grease football. He gets away in a hurry. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for.
And these guys are neck and neck to begin the third quarter. You talking about that two Siamese twins playing opposing tackles? Yeah, they're putting on a hell of a show. Hey, man, nobody can touch you with I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, huh? They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, man, he really... He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. One, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. Second down and ten. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Third down and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. Nice catch. And he turns on the end. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the line. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. Ah, that's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. This isn't funny, I swear to drunk, I'm not God, but seriously, stay in drugs, eat school, and don't do vegetables. Ah, Junior's having a flash. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Bam, say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. First and ten. And he's running like a moose right now. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored!
No little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Second down and 10. Whoa. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Oh, finish him. <laughs> Third down, and the punter is warming up. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm print. That cross stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. Ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. Air ball! Hey, did we start running ghosts at the NFL rim? No, that was just a shitty pass to absolutely no one. Third and two. Man, this guy just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle a running bonfire. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. He's at the party. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Oh, oh no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row, because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. I don't know who's... And he punched his way out of that tackle. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Hmm. I don't remember that being an officially sanctioned MFL rule. First down and inches. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> First down and six.
Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he made this goal. And he's running like a moose right now. He could go all the way. He's at the 40. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah! The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. <laughs> okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time. The kick is good with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. Yeah. And it's first and ten. Uh, is the game over yet? I gotta go to the vet to have him reattach my big coat to where my thumb was again. We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Junior, was that you? Hey, blow me. Great throw, great catch, and then put six points on the board. The defense can do anything to stop a thrown at good rim. You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, Grim. Third down 
Brandon Long. really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, do, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a big snags. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Great chance for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. Third and two. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is... Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should... The Diamond Crackheads win by forfeit today. They destroyed the opposition. Yeah, they turned him into chump bait. I'll turn you into chump bait, you chump. That was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? I paid for admission. I expect girls dancing on a pole or something. Girls, what the hell? I want a lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every up.